Hey guys and welcome to another episode. Today in this video I'm going to show you how to build a big brake kit on the cheap. Now I'm going to be working today on my Honda Accord and right now it's got one piston front brakes on it. Now on its own the brakes are really good. I've got a set of aftermarket rotors and pads on it. However the thing is I want a little bit better stopping power. So that's why I've got what I have right over here. I've got a set of four piston big brakes over here. I've got adapters that I need. I've got a set of hub centric rings that are going to be used for my brakes. I've got a set of stainless steel brake rotors for both the front and the back. Moving down to this box, I've got an aftermarket steering wheel and that's going to be going in sometime soon so stay tuned for that. I've got paint for the brake calipers and they're going to be going red and I'm going to be sealing it up with clear coat after I do something a little bit different with them. I've got a set of brakes, new for the rears, new for the front and these things are larger than the OEM ones that come on my car. So on the front of the car, I've got a set of StopTech cross rolled and ventilated rotors and these things are unreal. I love the way that they work. I've had these things mounted on the car for almost three years now and I haven't had a single problem with them. Moving to inside the caliper, I've got a set of Akabono ceramic pads and these things work great on these rotors. Now these brakes do a very good job at stopping my car, however I want something a little bit better. You can see right here on the left that we've got a caliper and we've got one piston in the middle of it. Now this is going to do a very good job at stopping the car, but the thing is it's good I guess for all day stuff, but if you're going to be tracking your car or doing any kind of performance or spirited driving, you're going to want something that's going to be able to slow your car down a little bit better. So that's why I went from a one to a four piston caliper. So the caliper that I have right here has one piston here, another one here, and we've got two more on the back side, here and here. And we're going to be throwing this on the car, but I'm first going to paint it up and make it look nice before I do that. To make sure that these brakes will work on my car, I needed to get a couple brackets right here so I can mount everything up and make it all work properly. So I've got a set of bolts that attach to an adapter that are going to be fed from the top of the caliper into the knuckle. Fast Brakes sent me these parts and these are what are going to make my brakes these ones right here work on the car. So these calipers that I have right here are actually meant for an Acura RL. They're not designed for my car. So I'm going to have to make it work by using these brackets. Now if you guys want to build a set of brakes like this for your car, my first step would be to say look into higher models of your car. So my car is an EXL Honda. There's no bigger brake or anything available for my car. Now for example, say you have a Nissan 350Z. They come standard with a set of smaller calipers like I have on my car. If you go for the optional 6MT model, it actually comes with four piston brakes just like this. So if you guys were going from the caliper like I have on my car, an option like that is going to be perfect for you guys. It's going to mount up very nicely and very easily and it's not going to be that difficult to get it to work on your car. Now what about the guys that don't have stuff like that like me? Well that's why a little Google search helped me out. I was like okay what kind of big brake kit do people do for this car? And the Acura RL is the kind of brake upgrade that a lot of people are going for. So the RL caliper is going to replace all of this. I also bought a set of Acura RL Acabono brake pads. So those are going to replace these in this entire assembly. Now the thing is with that style brake is because it's actually a little bit bigger, it's actually going to be pushed out a little bit more. So I'm going to need a different rotor. And the brake rotor that a lot of people for my car have gone with is a set of 2006 Nissan Maxima brakes. And those are larger than these ones and they're going to work perfectly with the new rotor. And they're going to work perfectly with the new RL caliper. Now with that being said, if we come back here, we've got our brake line for our Honda brakes and this actually is going to work. I figured why not replace the brake lines while I'm at it. So I've got a set of StopTech stainless steel brake lines that are going to be going in and it actually came with new banjo bolt that attaches to the back side of the caliper. So if you take a look at our new brakes, we've got the front ones here and the rear ones here. Now I went with the same kind of brakes front and back, so these are not only ventilated, but they're cross drilled and slotted. Now you guys can go with whichever style rotor you like, it's up to you for preference, but this is the one that I went with. Now because I'm doing the front brakes, I figured why not replace the rears, however the rears are going to be the same stock size as the original ones. 
I'll have links and information for all the stuff that I've got today for my breaks in the description box. You guys can check that out. So starting tomorrow, I'm going to begin this build on how to build a big brake kit for your car on the cheap. Now this option for me, disregarding the rear brakes, the front brakes, this cost me almost nothing. It cost me... I want to say around $400 for a set of four piston front brakes and that is a lot cheaper than say going with a set of Brembo's or StopTech brakes. Now with that being said, those brakes are fantastic. They are really nice but the thing is they are about four to five times more money than what I spent. And for the difference in braking power, I can't justify spending five times more. So starting tomorrow, I'm going to begin with repainting and resalvaging the brake rotors. Now if you guys watched my previous video on electrolysis, that is a very good and effective way to remove rust from your calipers if you want to repaint them. But tomorrow I'm going to get into more details, so stay tuned for the first part. So I'm just going to include a little clip right here. Take a look at these brakes because these things are not going to be the same afterwards. The piston, the caliper, the brake pads, the rotor, everything is going to be bigger and better.